Now, I don't know about you, but to me, getting four of a kind in a game of poker, it's a magical experience, super exciting, especially four kings, but it's rare though, because the cards, they are moving fast and they're coming random at you, right? Like right now, I shuffle the deck and I selected four cards at random spots. What are the odds to find four kings? <laughs> That's right. <laughs> really rare. Odd Mario's magic. Like and subscribe. Hey there everybody, my name is Odd Mario's and welcome back to my channel. Today, I wanna show you the overhand shuffle control, which is an amazing utility tool to perform a stunning sleight of hand based card magic with the overhand shuffle control we find published in the Royal Road to Card Magic. And I believe we already talked about it in the live stream series we did last year. You will find the link in the info cards up above and also in the info box, of course. Now the actual multiple card falls I performed in the intro, there's also a tutorial already up and running. I believe this was the 250 subscriber special on my channel long time ago. You will find the link to this tutorial also in the info cards as well as in the info box. And I've been just looking like in the air to the, it's, it's crazy, it doesn't matter. So let's uh, let's go right into, into the in-depth tutorial on the overhand shuffle control, which is really an amazing feat. For now, we only have been working with in jocks in order to create breaks, in order to shift packages, in order to control cards. Now we're going to create an out jock. So we start by running a couple of cards into our left hand and then we throw the other package or the remaining cards on top of there in a way that we create this situation. Now this is a little bit exaggerated here, but of course this is a tutorial, you need to see this. Now in this position, the index finger, and we are holding just our proper grip for the overhand shuffle. The index finger takes hold here of the upper portion, right there at the outer corners of the cards, and the rest of the fingers, they rest really loosely here at the, at the bottom of the lower portion. And now when we come with our right hand to, uh, to, rem to keep on shuffling, we're now enabled to bend the lower portion all down here, which enables us to pick it all up and to keep on shuffling, just like that. You see what this is doing? So we have a top portion that we shuffle. We create the out jog with the lower portion. We pick up the upper portion again and we shuffle it one more time. So we are shuffling just the same portion of cards all over again and we keeping the bottom stock in control. And it's not just only the bottom stock, you can go for half of the deck, even two thirds of the deck and make it look real legit. Of course, this is not a beginner move. You need to have mastered the over sh overhand shuffle beforehand. You know, uh, there is no way around it. Lucky you, I've got an in-depth tutorial up and running on the overhand shuffle. And you also should master all the other false shuffling techniques using in jocks, for example, where this undercut, for example, also a very nice version looks like this. So this is an in jock and then I undercut the cards. All of this you need to master before you should go for this one because this one is a little more tricky, especially if you want to get it super groovy. So one more time, we shuffle a top portion and then we out jock the remaining portion. Once again, exaggerated, we are holding our grip for the overhand shuffle. We don't change the grip. We just use the grip now to control the outer um, long side, short side of the package we out jogged. We come with our right hand, we bend the inner package, we lift it up and we keep on shuffling. 
this is how it looks in performance speed this is how i did it in the performance just like that and sometimes when the cards get messy you can square them up like this which enables you to get this much easier the key here is of course to create this perfect out jog and then to catch the lower portion with ease and you can practice this without shuffling the cards so we break the deck in half we out jog the portion we grab the lower portion and we throw it on top and then you just can do this all through the day and if you speed this up this already <laughs> looks like a really shitty fall shuffle but you know that's just practice so and once you got um the neck out of it how to get this out jog and how to catch the lower portion you can add the shuffle to it so shuffle 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 out jog shuffle 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 done shuffle 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 out jog shuffle 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 done shuffle 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 out jog shuffle 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 done and i could do this <laughs> all day long <laughs> yeah i mean I, i'm crazy i know and there you have it the overhand shuffle control from the royal road to card magic which is a super amazing slide of hand move for shuffling technique and if you are serious about your card magic you should really put the time and effort into learning this because it's so freaking useful <laughs> thank you so much for tuning in and thanks to the odd maniacs who make it happen with a pledge on patreon you now hit double combo subscribe and notification bell and rest assured more magical stuff is going to be uploaded very soon on this very channel odd mario's magic like and subscribe